Hello. Today I'd like to talk about converting gray images into RGB color. I got this suggestion from somebody on the channel that uh, would like to see this tutorial. When you take uh, photographs with a monochrome camera, you usually take it through different types of filters and even though the filters are colored, the results come out as grayscale and when they're grayscale we have to then assemble them back into uh, uh, RGB color which is uh, how we get the color out of most of our images so let's uh, start with Photoshop here I have an image here of, of M101 and I've got these different layers here I've got a red I've got a green and a blue and as you can kinda see as I scan through these uh, different colors each image has a little bit of different detail because each of the filters filter out different parts of the image so what we have to do to make this color is we have to take all these three stacks the red green and blue and we have to put them together as one one image now before you get to the step you should already have your image already stacked in a line if you don't know how to stack and align your image maybe we can cover that another another day but for right now what you do is you first take one of your images we're working on red right now so I'm gonna hit control A to select the whole image I'm gonna select control C to copy it then I'm gonna say file new now on the the new image here I'm going to tell it by default it's going to want to say it's grayscale but it's not we're going to make an RGB color image so we'll make it RGB color and a good resolution for this is about 300 and then what we'll do is we'll just say okay now remember we have in our, in our paste buffer now we have the red image so once this is opened up you'll look for it and you'll find it on your channels tab here see this channels tab here and what we'll want to do is we take this red one and we're going to paste it in so I'm going to hit control V paste that in there alright so now we're going to go to our, our other image which is the green one control A select it all control C copy it go back into this fully assembled one click on the green press control V and it pasted it in now you can see it's starting to change it a little bit of, uh, in the preview here it's starting to change it a little bit of a color we're still missing the, the blue channel so go to the blue again control A to select it control C to copy it go back into it and then paste it in the blue channel now you want to make sure that you're pasting it in the correct channel and you can easily tell that by the little eye there that's showing it so now we've pasted every single image in the correct channel and then the combined total is the RGB now here's the RGB. Let me go ahead and we'll view it at 100%. But here you can see that it's with all these different channels, it's it brings out the color of the image. If you take off any one of these, you're going to get a different result. You take off the red and it, and and take off the green, and you only have the one blue channel, which is actually a good grayscale image. But as you can see, when you stack the images like this this is how you bring it into one and then, then after you get it stacked you can bring it uh, through and do some more processing on it uh, I hope this uh, helps explain uh, how to stack your grayscale images and I wanted to remind you that you could win a coffee mug with your winning image by visiting myastroimages.com uh, you can uh, get started there by visiting the, the wall of fame and here you can uh, actually see some of our past winners and the results of their coffee cups that they uh, won. Again, thank you for watching today's tutorial.